Hey guys, a couple weeks ago, this is already about 40,000 miles in to my car. Um, I noticed that the glove box of my 2017 Chevy Volt was falling about half a cm or a inch down, and that's because this pin fell out. Uh, the pin is actually pretty loose, and that's to my surprise, it's actually loose. The friction um, um, sections on each side of the pin doesn't really touch up anything, so if you had a lot of weight in your or just a lot of stuff in your uh, glove box, quite possibly it's going to eventually move this pin so that it slides out. So here's a quick DIY on how to do it. Well, not really a DIY, it's just me recording it, but you can always just open up the entire... Um, my, I'll post another video for how you change the air filter and that's how you remove the glove box. And that's what you really have to do. You just have to f make sure you do it before that pin gets lost. And the pin actually just got stuck on a, underneath one of those shafts under there. So it was still attached to the glove box, but it's it was just... The whole glove box just fell down about half a centimeter. Anywho, you have to remove the side panel. Just remember when you put the side panel back in, you slip it in underneath the weather strip first when you're reinstalling the stuff. Um, I didn't say that in the, my other videos, but after you take the entire glove box off, it should open and close like that, like normal. There are roughly five uh, of those screw bolts that are holding up this glove box. Five, yeah, five. So. You need a seven millimeter um, socket to get there and basically just take off all seven of those things, all five of those bolts, and then just do it like how you change your air filter for this car. And I'll point to the video again in the link below. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, it's actually not bad. It took me about, let's say 20 minutes to take the thing apart, put it back together. And it wasn't that much of a hassle. Uh, I wish I put something else on that post so that it won't slip off again, but oh well. That's for next time. Anyways, guys, I figured I'd give you a quick update. If you have the same issue, just have to take this whole thing apart and just you know, basically put that pin back in before it gets lost. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Please like, subscribe for more Chevy Volt vlog uh, for this 2017, 2016, 2018 Chevy Volt. I'm sure the same issues will probably happen with the ones coming up forward who are for other owners as well and other GM cars that have similar design issues. Anyways, see you next time. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And also hit the notification button as well, that little bell. See you next time. Bye-bye.